just arrived at the Church of the Agony, Gethsemane for Mass. Here's our pilgrims all getting off the bus and ready to go in. There is Jerusalem and that is the Golden Gate. Right below is the Kidron Valley. We're gonna cross the street right now and go to Mass in this beautiful church at the rock where Jesus sweat drops of blood. These are the trees of the Garden of Gethsemane, the olive tree. The old city is the valley, which is called the Kidron Valley. In the Kidron, we do have a cemetery, which is a Christian cemetery. Have you noticed there is a cemetery along the wall? That's a Muslim cemetery. We're the first ones in the Garden of Gethsemane this morning. These are the trees in the garden, some of them over 2,000 years old. Look at the trunk on this one. This is a 2,000 year old tree. If they had eyes and ears and a mouth, they would tell you what they saw as Jesus and the disciples were here in the garden 2,000 years ago. And here comes our group. Through the entrance, we're going in for Mass. We're going in for Mass at the rock where Jesus sweat drops of blood. Hello, Rob. Good morning. One God forever and Bible, love, 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 or justice, 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 but what is he called? Holy, holy, holy. He is the holy one who cannot touch sin, cannot look upon sin, and he came down on this earth, and at the moment I think it took place here is where the sin, he realized the weight of all of the sin that came upon him, and he who was holy, 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 who knew no sin, became sin for us. You know, when you look at the serpent in the wilderness, in John chapter 14, right before we hear the God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son, we hear two verses earlier that as Moses raised up the serpent in the wilderness, so would Jesus be raised up. And they looked at the serpent, the snakes were going around biting people and they were dying because the poison viper of the serpent was biting them and getting into their system. They were becoming poisoned by the serpent. And Moses was told to build a bronze serpent to put it on the pole, and whoever looks on that serpent will live. This is a picture of the cross. Even Jesus says, for God so loved the world, it's a picture of this. But I often ask myself, why is it a serpent that's on that pole? Why not a lamb? Why not put a lamb on the pole to be saved by? Do you wonder that? I don't know if this is the answer, but in my meditation and speculation, I think that Jesus, when he became sin, was almost a picture there, cheering the burden of our sin, like the scapegoat that went out into the wilderness. We used to pray all of the prayers of the people of Israel onto the head of the goat. The goat would bear the sins and go out into the wilderness to die. And Jesus was bearing all of our sins. And at that moment, he bore the sting of the serpent. He bore the sting from that serpent. And he was there pictured as the serpent on the cross because he became sin. We are now at the western wall. This used to be part of the retaining wall that held the temple, which stood way up there above the wall. These are our pilgrims. Coming here to pray, there's my son Jesse. And here's our pilgrims praying among the Jews at the wall. Here's Dr. Hahn. We just arrived on the top of Mount Zion. We're now going to the Dormition of Ab Abbey, where Mary fell asleep. Look how beautiful that church is. German. Look at all the people. Here's the Church of Dormition. 
Here's our pilgrims coming in, and this is the doorway into the upper room. And this is the upper room. That's the Mount of Olives. That's right, if you come down from there, just about 8 o'clock, 8.30, you'll see the church where we had Mass. That's the Church of All Nations. That's where we had Mass. Right in there is the Garden of Gethsemane. So Jesus came down on his donkey and he stopped. There's a little church there we didn't go to. It's too small. Called Dominus Flavit. The Lord wept. And Jesus st stood there on that donkey and he looked at Jerusalem and he wept. And he says, because you were not ready for your day of visitation, my visitation, I prepared you. You were not ready for my visitation. And because you were not preparing for existing me, there will not be one stone left upon another. I tried like a mother hen to gather you in my and you wouldn't. You killed all the prophets from Abel to Zechariah. And I'm going to destroy the temple. And he went down and all the people were cheering, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they went up into the golden gate and everybody was cheering. You know when we say in the mass, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When do, when do we say that? Isn't it right before the Lord becomes present in the church? Why does the church do this? Because they are singing Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Right when the Lord enters Jerusalem, we say it right before the Lord enters the new Jerusalem on the altar of the mass. Same word. Church of Visitation.